So Welcome anyway, back to the Frenemies podcast. My name is Trisha Paytas. And I'm Ethan Klein. Is the thing up? Yeah, what do you, what uh, do you mean? The thing has been up for, for Wait, like Wait, you're not in again. here, dog? Nope. Oh, I'm not in there either. Oh my god. It takes like two minutes, like two seconds to see you log in, alright? Calm down, it's not that bad. Will, can you talk? No. Alright, I fucked everything. Um, wait, why would you do that? Because it all looks so... Don't do that. Unfuck everything. Because I'm in a position of power. It's going to my head. Women want me. Fish fear me. <laughs> Lately in my life, I've been spending a lot of e mental energy trying not to develop an eating disorder. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what is this bit? It's women want me. Fish fear me. Lately in my life, I've been spending a lot of mental energy trying not to develop an eating disorder. It's pretty good. D&D Beyond. Oh my god. I love that I asked if everyone was ready and everyone said yeah. And now we're not ready. It's like a time you can just... You can just... What are you talking about? I need to, and like... Tell, tell me what's up, what's happening? What's... I'm trying yeah, to... Yeah, catch us up, bro. Oh, catch us up? Okay. Um, let's bring up the notes from last session. Okay, so we got... We got a free renovation, signs, trees, and a cat from our deal with the lords. Um, uh, it's a cat owl? That's not confirmed. What do you mean? Um, you said cat only. Uh... There's a pirate who wants to be manager, and we're saying no, because fuck that guy. Am I on crack? Um, Did we not end last session with an owl cat? No, he said cat, and then we're like, oh, we should be um, like, owl! No, 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 no. Aurel? Hmm? Did you give I'm us- I'm already talking about No, why am I being gaslit? <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. You guys had a big fucking animal. I was gonna get yard. there in my recap if you guys just let me get there. Alright, get there, get there. Um, okay, we interviewed a bunch of people. One of them was a vampire he's coming back today um we met a girl who is you know what? we're just gonna skip over that part um a girl. Polar, <laughs> polar bear sized creature with an owl face bear body cat tail and whiskers showed up outside and that's where we ended it uh, they really tried to gaslight me I wasn't gaslighting you. You were just. It sounds like you were gaslighting me, dog. You were just. You were just being crazy. Am I on crack right now? I'm not. I'm not gaslighting you, Sean. You're being crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I only have a sharpie to write with. How am I meant to play this video game? Oh, here are my sharpies. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready to play D and D, dog. Uh, hold on. And there it is. I've got... Wow, is Aurel really not ready? God damn. We're like three minutes <laughs> into this episode. <laughs> Look at that already. We, we haven't damn, started playing D D yet. Can we start? Okay. So what are you guys doing? You got the big freaking owl creature. I'm well, gonna how did I describe it again. It was Anyone? okay. It's a polar bear body with a no, owl no, it's face. A polar bear body. It's a polar bear size. It's a polar bear size cat owl. It's got a regular bear body. Why does it have a regular bear body? It's This is the it, Iceland's. It's, it's polar bear sized with an owl face and a bear body. Not a polar bear body. The owl bear. So what's owl the cat bear. part? Well, it's got a cat tail and whiskers. There we go. Yeah. How the fuck do you put whiskers on an owl face? What Let me worry about it in the speed paint. You, Let me worry about it in the speed paint. <laughs> well, I am not the... The cruel, cruel god that calls for this creature to exist. Wait, is this our guy who we had yeah, you are, mind wiped? Is this our mind wiped boy? I fucking Dan, I guess, hope not. Dan, Dan, I guess you're right. I am the cruel god you're that calls for this creature. Literally the cruel god <laughs> of this world. That you All right, I have a, I have a, a I want to. Let's name him. <laughs> Well, wait, 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 just naming him and not got question why he's here. Um, I asked for a so, cat owl. So as you, guys, as you guys start bickering, uh, the creature walks up to you a lot and sort of rubs, rubs its nape against you and goes, Ooh. Which one? Which oh, one of us? What's a nape? Which one of us? Uh, one of let me us? roll, let me roll a d3, hold on. No, please. <laughs> if it doesn't go to me, I'll be crushed. Okay, it goes to Sean. Oh my god. 
It's just my, kidding. It goes to no one. It goes my, to no one. It's no. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's, it's my emotional support owl cat. You didn't even give us the numbers. Bear. You just said it was the Sean. This is bullshit. <laughs> I'm yeah, getting... well, take it up with your gods if they even I call cor I call corruption. Oh, <laughs> Recount the votes. <laughs> Recount the votes. Okay, hold on. Let me roll again. Let me roll again. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, land on Sean. It's statistically unlikely that you would get that specific pair of two. Okay, well, you're about, get, you're about to get you're about to get a juice of exploding. This so, is oh, my emotional yeah. support owl. Cat. Uh, the bear seems bear. to like bear. Val. What, can I check to see if it's a boy or a girl? Or, or or whatever this is. Please don't check to see if it's a boy I mean, or a girl. Flip it over, tell him to flip it over, give him the palm. The first thing you do when a mystical pet isn't to look for a penis. <laughs> well, I want to know what kind of name I'm giving this thing. Are you, are you, what, what, how are you checking its gender? Wait, can I'm gonna you ask that it. that the tail is a penis? You're gonna ask it, Sean? <laughs> yeah, I can speak to, okay. I can speak to Beats. What does Beats do? I can talk to this. Okay, if you can speak to geese, how would that help you in this situation? <laughs> Beast! Beast! Beast. <laughs> oh. You... They sound similar, I'm sorry. Who says the beast? I'll just, That's fucked I'll just up. leave. That's fucked up, Val. What is your name? Alright, what does what speak to beast? Is it a spell? I think so. I don't know if it lets him actually he's speak with animals. <laughs> Do you have to speak with animals? I no, think... he does not. <laughs> Are you a bard, a druid, or ranger? I'm all three, baby. Built okay, like that. Okay, um... Sean, you are not. I'm built like that. You cannot speak the beast. How are you gonna figure out his gender? That's what uh, you wanna do. I'm gonna... Flip it over. Tell it to flip over. <laughs> I don't wanna flip it. So I'm just gonna try give to, it... Try to scratch its belly. Okay. I try and scratch its belly. It... It, it like, rolls over onto the, the snow <laughs> and it looks like a big, like... Oh? Huge thud onto its side and lifts its legs up. Uh, and uh, I can confirm for you right now that it is a. Uh, hold on one second. I'm building suspense. It's an, a flip a coin. Flip a coin. Okay, suspense has been built. Suspense, okay. Yeah, give it to us. It's female. Oh my god, I'm gonna name you Tubbs. Oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> well, Wait. no. No, Will. <laughs> ah. He's not, don't fuck the owl cat bear. <laughs> God. Um. Oh. Why the fuck would you name it Tubbs? What a shit name. All right, all right. I'll, I'll think of something else. Uh, orange. But it's not even orange. It's just giving Let's me. Let's make it orange. We make it orange. All right? Yeah. Get some dye. Get some dye because like our our like Let's neon get some sign yellow is dye orange. And then we're good, right? Our neon sign is orange. It's fire. I thought our I thought our neon sign was blue. Oh. <laughs> Blueberry. Also, I thought it wasn't neon. Wait, but we'll make it, it neon. Blueberry. We'll name it blueberry. Oh god. Come on, blueberry. BB for short. I I'm gonna grab a bottle of wine or whatever type of alcohol. Oh, you're gonna die, my sip. cat owl bear. No, I'm gonna give it a sip. I'm gonna give it. Oh, a we're sip. getting turned. All right, I like it. Let's go party. DM. <laughs> yeah, can we continue with the story, please? Yeah, I'm gonna be done. Can I, can I get the owl, or whatever, I'm gonna call it an owlbear, don't worry. An owlbear, uh, drunk? Owlbear cat drunk? Wait, mm. no, you can't give it alcohol to animals. They get banned off Twitch, unless you're a hot e thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, they do that? That's a classic throwback, Will. Thank you, I appreciate I'm you getting my reference. Can um, I please get the owlbear cat drunk? Yeah, can we get BB drunk? Do you have drink on hand to give it to it? No, you you can't you can't give alcohol I... to animals. Oh my god! You know what happens now that we have BB? Shame. We have an easier way of transporting the barrels. That, that Sean, is... you literally have like a super strong horse. We have two very good barrel havers. Oh my god. We have two <laughs> very good girls. How do you intend to make this thing uh, listen to you? It seems we, to like we, me. We get one more animal so we can have a one shot and we can just play all those things. Can we all have different like, pets? Animals. I also have a horse, so. <laughs> exactly. Okay, sweet. Two horses and an owlbear. 
I, I, we have two horses and an owl bear cat. That's I think our, I've seen uh, that body. Well, start writing for uh, for a one shot for that. I, do, oh, I don't even. It's done. It's done. We can I do it right now. Zo I love Zootopia. <laughs> no, but we're not doing a My Little Pony fanfic episode. <laughs> I want to be the owl cat bear. I want to be a cat bear. I do not. Right? I do not consent. I will cancel you all. My pony Sona is an owl cat bear. Okay, are we ready to move on? Yeah, we're, we're waiting. Is there going to be a knock at the door or something? I'm bro, I'm waiting for you guys. So is, there no, is there any note anywhere with this bear? No, just shut up. He likes me. She likes me. So as, as this, you guys... Wait, are, what? She might fucking decide to kill you tomorrow. Like, what? She likes me. Yeah, yeah could, maybe she's just not you, hungry right now. You, she likes me. <laughs> Oh my god, if you die to this thing, I'm not helping you. She likes me. Is, oh, did you guys hear that? That was a knock at the door. It was a knock at the door. Except <laughs> you, guys, you guys aren't at the door, you're outside playing with the fucking owlbear. Um, oh my Check the map, we're all inside. What it's coming about? from inside the house. So so someone, someone walks in uh, through the gate, uh, and you see this uh, you email. You have a gate. Yeah, you do have a gate. Hmm. You see this, this female elf, and she's sort of looking around um, with, like, very, very wide-eyed. Uh, and she sees you guys, and she sort of, like, meekly looks over and goes, Hello? Hi. Hello. She goes, Nice to meet you. She waves. Oh, yeah, don't mind the the thing. Well, yeah. Um, Her name's Sorry. Bibi. Why would you... Sorry about his naming conventions too. He's uncreative. It's Blueberry. She goes right. Okay, well I'm I'm here for the job. Which one? The the tavern job. Yeah, but like which one? Which, which one? The different. There are different you know. positions. Oh, to the job. Yeah, I'm here to cook. I'm here to cook. Oh, oh. Do you make good food? Sometimes. Okay. Well, we're gonna have a we're we're, we're having a dude. Can I pull Come back to cook okay. for us later. So, how about you also come back later and make us food and we'll decide. When? Um, uh, ambiguously, like, mid to late evening. Post sunset. We'll be open, so if you want to come by earlier and just hang out, that's cool too. And you gotta bring your own food to cook. Mm -hmm. We'll reimburse we'll, you for we'll, the food. Yeah, we'll reimburse oh, okay. you. Okay, do, do you need anything else from, from me, or...? Um, if we were on a boat, which one of us would you cook first? Okay, see you at midnight. <laughs> Wait, Will, we can if we get out some flowers right now, we can like host this as like a competition cook off. That's already what it is. But we can get money for it. We can sell seats. To who? That's a good idea. That's well, a good let's idea. post it around and see if anyone wants to come. We'll we'll sell some ale now. Well, we have it. Cook off, the cook off the the. What, what's that thing called again? We'll do Fine, but I'm not helping. What do you mean you're not helping? It's literally indicative of you doing all the work. All right, if you don't want to do it. Yeah, then and I don't want to do all the work. <laughs> Just do the work. I guess, right. I guess we really have to go on the fact that he wants to make a strip club real quick. Well, because we can sell them like half price ale now, and they can enjoy the cooking competition. And then the strippers. And that'll like be like, oh my god, we love the ale even more. And it's like, we're slowly like scooping them in. And plus, hypothetically, we get... if we wanted to recruit strippers, where would we start looking? Probably Poor Town, TBH. Like, they won't be hot. <laughs> we'll clean them up. We have to. We'll clean them up. Jesus. <laughs> we'll give Sean, them a nice not, place to not, stay. They're not objects. They're I didn't, objects. Nothing I said implied that they weren't uh, people. Anyway. I value people. I value uh, clean people. Oh, I just want to make sure that we've all, we've all got in mind who we've already interviewed. So mm -hmm. do you guys remember who we've already interviewed and who you're considering for future positions? Okay, pirate, okay. I never want to see again in my life. I hope he died. Yeah, pirate, not getting a job. Cute Ooh, vampire. Vampire, if he can cook, definitely getting a job. Um, and what was this vampire's name, if anybody remembers? Uh, oh, it's some sort of oh, weird Aculeard. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Shouldn't you know Aurel, considering I'm you testing you. Up? His name is Oclar. I was testing. His name is Eclair. It's Oclar. 
Yeah, the D is silent. Um, <laughs> there's a short elf named Key, and he can hold a tray. And deliver food also quickly. Also gave him money. And so. we're hiring. And we I gave him money, um, so. No, then I there's a girl named Pat, who's definitely weird, but is good at acting. And she she's very charismatic. Is getting a job, but she wants extra money for it. So like, uh, hope she doesn't tell the other servers. <laughs> I would yeah, really love to see us hiring both this little per this little girl and Dracula as our cooks, because then we can open twenty four hours. Do we really need to be open twenty four hours though? <clears throat> uh, when do when does sex happen, Dick, dick Nips? Oh, fair enough. In the morning, you little dummy. Who's the mastermind behind Howling Owl now? I'll organize the competition, Aurel. That's my arc. Okay, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna run inside and make some posters. Tournament arc, except it's not the main characters. <laughs> the main characters are the judges. A, a tournament arc, but the main characters just kind of watch from the side and talk about a quiz. And they missed one of the most important fights because they were out grabbing chili. This is Shokugeki. Oh, no. This is not Shokugeki. This is Shokugeki. What is Shokugeki? It's Food Wars. Oh, yeah. This it is, is Shokugeki. Shokugeki. This is Shokugeki. Okay. Um, so, uh, as you guys are discussing the, the future cook off, and Sean run, and Val runs inside to go make preparations posters. Yeah. and posters, um, you notice that a line has begun to form uh, outside. Are these all and the interviewers? We're, like, we're coming in to interview. Should we do individual interviews so we can get through this faster? Um, how many people approximately are there? Um, they're sort of coming like every once in a while, but right now there's probably ten or twelve. Okay, yeah, we should probably like screen them preemptively for hotness. Anyone below a three can just. Anyone below a five can just get lost. Let there's me. There's one below a five. Pardon me. There's one person below a five in in the in the lineup. Right now. Oh. Can I look at the person who's below a five? Yeah. He's a real ugly dwarf. What Does he have like any fun gimmicks or is he just ugly? Uh, uh, how are you checking for his fun gimmicks? What are you like? Do, well, does he have like an eye patch or something? Yeah. Does he have like an accent? Or like a big scar across his face? How are you checking, Sean? Are you looking at him to see if he has an accent? <laughs> yeah. Does he look like the kind of guy who'd have an accent? Roll perception. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so that's like the kind of guy who can probably speak. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get this first interview going. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. So, uh, first is a uh, a like slightly middle-aged uh, female human. Ooh. She's got Ooh, short she's tired. Oh. <laughs> Will well, like yeah. some slightly middle age. Uh, she's she's a little short, but she's got a, a relatively muscular build. She's like a bit taller than the dwarf would be, and she has short gray hair. Um, as as she comes by you guys, you notice that she smells a bit like the forest. Arel, that's Shady's mom. Can you do me a yep. favor? Yes. Sean. Delete the wall in the middle table here, so we can all sit at it and do this more professionally, please. Talking about you guys on your walls. Everyone to the table. Everyone to the table. We need, and then we'll have the whoever we're interviewing at the end of the table. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's this woman? Uh, hold on, I'm making you walls. Slip is, slip is just on the table. Slip, and slip has been sealed into the table. Uh oh. <laughs> I can get out. He's stuck on the. Yeah, guys, I'll someone undo. help, please. I'll undo. I'll he can't get all. It's too high for him. He can't get down. So Turtles please. can't jump. They don't have knees. So th this this slightly middle-aged woman walks in, sits down, uh, and goes, "I, I swear I saw three of you here earlier." There, there are three, three of us. Here. Where is the third? Slips under the table. Uh -oh. Why are you under the table? Sorry, he gets scared. Yeah, he doesn't like new people. Um, what's your name? The name's Catherine. With a K or with a C? With yes. At, at the beginning or? Yeah, at the beginning. At the beginning. What is your name? Yeah, start with? Wait, wait, wait. No, just spell it out entirely for me. <laughs> huh? C A T H E 
R I N K. Catherine. Oh, nope. Nope. Can't do it. Get out. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh I'm my so god. Yeah, not She's a, a joker. She's such a joker. Um, what do you, what position were you hoping for at the bar here? I'm here to manage. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, mm. Oh. Cool it, cool it, Julio. All right, calm down. Yeah, <laughs> chill out a little bit. Milf, and she wants to tell oh, me what to do. Sh dog, she's right there. <laughs> dog, please, just chill out. Um, okay. Do you have any I, past experience managing? Toes. Oh my god. You can look at her toes. Why are her toes out? Is she wearing shoes? Is she wearing shoes? They're covered by shoes. You can look at them. You can't. Can you can look at them. Can I, can I stealth? Uh, uh, stealth hand. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's just in her. Imagine you're just sat at a table interviewing, and some <laughs> motherfucker comes up under the table and like starts licking your toes. I'm not. I'm not licking her toes. I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna check. Just check that oh she has. Oh my god! I, I, no, 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 I want to see how many toes specifically. How many toes? <laughs> and and are they? Are they nail polished or anything? Oh my okay. god, uh, what? You managed you manage to successfully it. slip off her shoes, only to reveal there are socks beneath them. <laughs> She's gotta right, go, go again. I, I, I feel so in. bad for this woman. Oh, oh thank god. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you guys are, are looking at her, she's sort of looking around and she's wondering why no one's talking. Well, uh, what, um, I'm uh, so, I, I'm, then, hey, uh, Catherine. See, and, then you see her, and then you see her face go, <gasps> and she pulls back on the table violently and looks down. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. And she sees you slip just I holding one of her off, socks right? up. <laughs> yeah, you got one of her socks off. Oh my freaking she's like, god. Give me my sock back. I'm sorry, he's not very well trained. Hey, at least you gotta look at her feet, bro. What's oh, wrong yeah. with you, you turtle has, man? She has, she has five regular toes on her, regular human toes on her feet. I thought she's, I thought she, you, I thought she was a, what do you call it, a, uh, a human. A, was it just a human? I thought yeah, it was a, human. a human. All right. What are you under the all assumption? All right, all right, I get out of the table. So I, um, oh, what what do you have I any experience managing? Before, all right. Wait wait, Psh. see what she, see what she says. See what she says first. Give me my sock back. She repeats. I'm keeping the sock. You have the shoe back. I takes a shoe. She goes. She goes. I will never work at this establishment. And she walks out. You guys are it was idiots. A, it was a test. We didn't want you anyway. You, she I don't want any human. Fuck humans. She couldn't work under the working conditions of Shlip. this area. No more stealing people's fucking yeah, socks. Yeah, what off the it. fuck was that what? about, dog? All uh, right, you can have this sock then. I like. I don't want it. All right, next, I'll next. Pick it up with a mage hand and throw it back at him. Oh my god, they're having oh. a sock fight. All right, next person. Next, can we, we get the next one? Chances with the milf. God damn it. Hold on, I'm organizing my NPCs. Are we gonna get some <laughs> custom NPCs? These are all custom NPCs, Sean. Uh, it bullshit. doesn't look like Bad it. Bullshit. Oh no no my, my the character not not the fucking art. No I I don't have that much custom art just hand, laying around. Uh, next walks in. Doesn't, a, uh, doesn't we'll have like a library of tokens you can use? I'm sure he does. I don't want to take the time to separate them for all the fucking people you're interviewing. All right. So in walks a uh, a th about three foot slightly more than three foot tall dwarf. Uh, a female dwarf. She's got short, straight brown hair. And uh, as she walks in, you can hear her go, <sighs> Hi. Hey, how's it going? Why are you breathing heavy? Oh, it's, it's just a thing. My legs are real short. Oh. Uh, you um, running from someone? No, I just, it's, it's walking. Look, I just, she gets up and walks around. And as she walks around, you can hear her getting more and more out of breath. She walks back. She has tiny legs. She has to take like faster steps. Like, more okay, steps what's your what's your name? The name's Anzen. And uh, what job are you looking for? I'm here to be a waiter, server. No. Okay, and um, do you think this whole like getting fatigued from walking around <laughs> might impact your ability to do a job where you you are like solely oh, on your feet? Uh, I'm not fatigued. I can I can walk around just fine. I just, my, my breath comes real quick. And oh. do you foresee that being an issue? Because I well, do. 
no, on account of, I, I'm still fine. I can, I can walk all day. I'm, I'm a dancer. I. Oh, if you're a dancer, why do you want this job? Because I don't like dancing. Oh, Wait, then why are you a dancer? Pays the bills. Does it? Not really. Well, it did. Now I want this job. Um... Fair enough. Do you have any uh, prior experience as a waitress? Uh, once, but it was like five years ago. Or maybe 50. Well, fair enough. Is there any chance we can get you to wear a mask or something while you're waiting the tables just because we're concerned with food and safety? Huh? We wouldn't Never mind him. <laughs> um, Schlepp, this is you. This is your question time. Yeah. I don't get any questions. All right. No, if we were on a boat, boat yeah, we gave you the boat question. What? No, you guys do it. If... <laughs> okay. Do it. No, go ahead. If okay. Now hear me out. If we were on a ship and we had nothing left to eat, which one of us would you cook up first? She pauses for a very long time. Well, I think I'd spill. I'd, I'd flip a coin. There are three of us. I flip a coin twice. That's you'd have you'd have to flip a coin three times to effectively. Uh... Yeah. Oh, am I not included? I thought I was included. Oh. We well, okay. Sure. So flip a coin twice. All right. You know what? We'll let you know. We'll we'll let you know. Yeah. Okay. These ones. So, uh, oh. does this interview come with any free drinks or? No. Uh. Uh. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Watch the door. Can you go? <sighs> Oh my god. She yeah, was, that one's a no. That one's I, a no. I can see why she got fired from being a dancer. If she <laughs> looks like she's no. out of breath all the time, she must not be very good. Alright, send in the next one. Yeah, bring in the next one. In walks a uh <clears throat> another dwarf. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Another dwarf. Uh and it's it's the the ugly guy from the line. Hello? Hello there. He does have an accent. It's just not one we want. Name? Name's Drenane. Uh, spell that for me, please. Dre? Followed very shortly by that's name. Not, that's, that wasn't, those weren't letters. <laughs> I'm not much good at writing, but I am good at cooking. This is spelling. I thought this was a cooking job, not a writing job. It's not. Um, so what does it matter how you write my name? Okay, we're having a cook-off later tonight. Um, <laughs> ambiguously between sunset and midnight. Um, so just like show up, bring some food to cook. We'll reimburse you. And if you're the best, you'll get the job. Okay, then. See you then. We'll reimburse you for the ingredients, by the way. That, that, that's what he said. I know, do... I'm just hammering, you know, like how at the end of a session, like, you put jot notes down? Like, this is your jot note. You should write that down, that we're going to reimburse you. I whisper in Val's ear, I like the vampire better. I whisper in Paleo's ear? Duh. Um, so we'll be in, we'll be in, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if we were on a boat, and we had yeah. nothing to eat... Which one of us would you cook up first? Hmm. Well, we'd uh, create a rudimentary uh, one of those, uh, what are they called? This seesaw. Okay. And uh, figure out who weighs the most. Ah. Makes the most meat. Um, okay. That's a good answer. Except for the fact that Schlick has a shell and that makes up a lot of his weight. So, a shell? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mind if I? He, w he walks over. Hey, 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 keep your distance. Keep your distance. We only got like, one of those. He, like reaches out a hand towards your shell. Uh oh. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is what racism looks like. <laughs> Knocks on the shell. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I'm sure we can find a way to eat it if we tried real hard. Okay, oh, we'll see you. We'll see you later. We'll tonight. see we'll you see later. You. Oh my God, how I, inappropriate! We're in like I'm a not, business setting. I'm not eating turtle shell. I yeah. don't think he's. I don't. Oh think my he's God, it. he doesn't sound very good. Slip, I'm so sorry you had to endure that. That was so mean. This is a professional I like setting. Him. Oh wow. <laughs> next. Hearing I say right, next. We can always get more employees than we need and put them on like a staff schedule. I don't know how deep into this uh, sim we're going, but we could do that. In walks <clears throat> a rather young looking human male. Oh. And he's got a mohawk. Oh. Uh, he comes in and he goes, Is the place for the uh, job? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Reaches out a hand. The name's Edmund. I reach over the table to shake his hand. He shakes your hand. Uh, his grip is, hold on. Not as firm as he would probably like it to be. Hmm. Um, I want it to be known since this is the long table and I'm sitting at the other end of the table. I do slide onto the table to shake his hand. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then I shimmy back to my seat. Um, okay. So what job are you looking for, Edmund? I'm looking to be a waiter. Uh, not a waiter then. A bartender. We don't have one of those. We don't have one of those. We don't have one of those. Do you, do you have any experience? Yes, I do. Not uh, professionally, but at home. So you're an alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> My father is. Oh. Brad. Oh, um, um... I mean, yeah, that sounds like pretty good experience to me. Well, I mean... I felt if I was doing it anyway, I might as well make money, huh? right? Right? Uh, we're going to be having a uniform here at the Howling Owl. Are you okay with wearing a uniform? Wait, we never talked about uniforms. Are you going to be okay with wearing a uniform if we so choose? Sure, I mean, it, it's a job, isn't it? I, can, can we make them wear maid dresses? I got paid, so I'm fine with wearing a uniform. Yes, we can make them wear maid dresses. Hypothetically, if your uniform were a maid oh, dress, how would you God. feel about that? A maid dress, like one of the maids of the lords? Like, hypothetically. Like a house maiden. Duster of shells. Look, I don't know what kind of uh, tavern this is. It was it's, a hypothetical. It's a but test. I, I'm it's... seeing someone. I can't, I'm not, I can't be selling more than just drinks. It was a hypothetical. We're not going to ask you to sell anything more than drinks. It was well, as long as I'm not asking. As long as I'm still making drinks, I'll wear whatever you guys want. How old are you? Uh, seven. I mean, is that sixteen? Legal? I mean, he could be seven. Twenty-two. He could be seven. He looks, Does he, looks he... Like he, he looks like he's in his teens, like late teens, mid to late teens. Okay. Uh, could we get in trouble for that? Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. Um. Uh. What color is his mohawk? Um, it, it looks like it was originally painted red, and then there's splotches of it that are green. Evan, what's your body count? Oh my god. Well, I gotta know if we're hiring a chat or a... I'm a not a killer. killer. Not that kind of body. <laughs> I forgot we're in... Oh, well, I'm, I, I've, been, I've been seeing someone for a while. So but, uh, one? Well... He's a teen dog, let it out. I suppose. Well, that's better than zero. Okay. Hey guys, I think we should hire this one. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Also, if we hire this one, since he's already in a relationship, he won't try and steal any of the girls from you. Oh, yes. Okay, we can offer you insert generic wage. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course I'll work for Insert Generic Wage. So Insert Generic Wage is good for you then? Yes. All right. Excellent, Edmund. Um, we'll, we'll see you back here. Um, you should feel lucky. We don't give Insert Generic Wage to tomorrow. everyone around Tomorrow. Okay. At, at uh, noon. Okay. All right. Well, see you later. He walks out and it looks like he's trying to hide his excitement by like walking stiffly, but as soon as he gets outside the door, he can go, woo! Dude, we paid him generic amount. 
<laughs> Wait, that's gonna, be, that's gonna bite us in the ass later. Okay, bartender number one, acquire. Okay, so what do we have so far? Before we accept the next person, and let's. Okay, find... okay, right now we have one bartender, um, uh, two waiters, and three cook candidates. Damn, we really. What, how about manager? We have zero manager? We have zero managers. Well, didn't the vampire say he could also do manager? Well, do we really want a vampire managing our tavern? That seems like bad for business. Uh, there might be, we might get like a secret debuff or something. Well, oh, or maybe, maybe everyone will find him sexy and it'll be a good thing. I don't know. Well, because vampires are hot in this universe. I thought that's what we established yeah, everyone, last time. Everyone knows once you get bitten, you instantly gain four points on the scale. So is it like, do you think we get like bonus revenue buff for the more vampires we convert in town? Oh, I have a, I have a phenomenal plan. We sell blood and make everyone oh. vampires. I go, I get a vampire friend. I make him make everyone else vampires, and suddenly everyone's super fucking hot. <laughs> oh, so we're not selling blood? Um, I feel like selling we'll, we'll blood we'll is we'll the next that, step. We'll burn that bridge when we get to that. I feel yeah. like selling like blood, copious amounts of blood, has like alcohol is like. Oh, be uh, then ev if everyone's a vampire, no one is. Um, okay. Next, next person, time. next. Come on. Oh, Sean, they don't just stop drinking blood because there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we're all vampires? I guess well, I was going to be like, we can open up like a blood speak easy for the vampires that we create and they can't go anywhere else. Oh, we should have a back room and you got to do a special knock and then you get in and we serve blood in there. <laughs> I hate this tavern. So as you guys are discussing this, you hear- Oh, it's so cool. I can't wait until we get to like make our rooms and customize like new parts of this. I w hope the rest of the campaign doesn't leave this tavern. We're actually just we're actually just playing The Sims. <laughs> I just want to play. We're playing Tavern Simulator in D and D. This is amazing. Send them in. Next one. Come on. We don't have all day. You guys closed the door because you said you didn't want to let anybody in. There's someone knocking on the door constantly right now. Oh, I'm gonna. Open, I'm opening the door. I'm gonna open the door. I'll get it with Mage Hand. Oh, okay, okay. I'll stay. I'll stay. So the door flips open, the person, you see like uh, a hand like reach forward to knock on them, it's obviously not there anymore. And then in steps this, uh, this dwarf. Uh, he's, he's like a young adult dwarf. Uh, and you notice that as he walks in, he's got his short curly brown hair and he's missing his left hand. He raises his right hand, he, he reaches his right hand to shake your, your, all your hands and he goes, the name's Arvin. <laughs> Follow for me, please. <laughs> A R V I N. Arvin. 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 Um, um, okay. So, what position are you here for today? I'm here to be serving some of this, and he reaches into his, uh, into his, uh, fucking, like below his jacket, pulls out a bottle, pops it open with his right hand, takes a big drink, sets it down on the table, serving some of this to everyone who comes in through that door. Um, um, what is that? So, uh, given your history of day drinking, do you think your potential alcohol problem will impede your ability to effectively monetize the resources we have available? Problem? <laughs> Buddy, the number- the amount of drinks I'll sell just hey. by having drinking, uh, competitions with the patrons? <laughs> you're gonna wish you'll be paying me double. I said potential. Potential. Time what now? Um, anyway, um, and you don't think uh, the lack of hand will get in the way? I just want to make sure you're like, you won't be like, Impeded. you know, struggling. I want to make sure this is a the right position can, for you. I can make any drink under the sun. I don't need a second hand. How about well, any drink under the moon? Is that supposed to mean something to me? No. No. Um, do you have any experience? Yes. I served on a sh on a crew of a oh, mighty no. vessel. Oh no! Unfortunately, the captain had gone mad, and so I was thrown deep, deep back down below. But I made it out, and I've come here to the north, where there's nothing to sink into. Um, I turn to Peleus and I go. Alternatively, pirate tavern. We hi we get all the pirates for the pirate bonus. 
<laughs> I, hope, I hope you don't mind this this quick uh, sidebar, if you will. Uh, you haven't seen a man named Q around, have you? You know, um, I have. Oh, wow. Oh, have you? Well, I'd be willing to pay handsomely for his location. After all, I owe him back for this, and he lifts up his left hand. Or his left non-hand. How handsomely is handsomely? Two whole gold. All right, here's a parrot. Just write a note on it. It'll lead you straight to him. You're hired, by the way. All righty then. Wait, we're hiring I'll go, him? I'll go dispatch him, and uh, when do I start? Uh, come back tomorrow at noon. All right then. Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. We can See only pay you in search generic wage. Oh. Well, we can talk more about it later. Oh. And he has a... Damn. Fair enough. Wait, let's negotiate for a discount because we're literally giving him what he wants. I pocket the two gold. You do pocket the two gold. That's true. We'll, okay. we'll use it as a bargaining chip later, you know? We gave you the parrot, uh, so I don't see why we should pay you more than a livable wage. You leaves? Next. Next, please. In comes... In comes a tall uh, woman. Okay. Human woman, sorry. Uh, she's got what appears to be an eye patch over both of her eyes. Huh? Okay. It's one big eye patch, and it covers both of her eyes. Oh, she's just wearing a headscarf. Yeah, like like a blindfold, if or you will. Or does she have one eye? No, both of her eyes. It's Taranga Leela. I'm just gonna, just in case, I'm gonna reach my hand out and just see what happens. She reaches her hand out and shakes it. Oh. My yeah, that's pretty rad. God, um, she's the scale of one to ten. Person. Hmm. Scale of one to ten. Um. Well, she's like, are you into like milfs? Yes. Yes, we've been over this. She's like, she's like, she's like, she's like probably like 50, 60, that that age range. And she's she's a bit like uh, what's called worn down by the by, by life. Yeah, she's got a few scars here and there. Been through a lot, but underneath all that is a god. You guys are such fucking. All what's you, the, what's the facial, is, is what's the facial symmetry looking like? Oh Pretty symmetrical and unmarked by anything other than scars. Can we market her? Market? This has now become a circus. What? what what's your name? The name is Frowenia. Oh, easy to could pronounce. You, uh, <laughs> could you spell that for me? P H R O W E N I A. I'm gonna need a cheat sheet for all their names. Great. And what position were you looking for today? I was here looking to see if I could cook. Man, there's so many goddamn cooks. In this I'm gonna town. be like, okay. are we gonna inverse all of their food? Well, yeah. Um, but... Okay, we're having a cook off tonight, ambiguously between sunset and midnight. Um, Bring your own ingredients. We'll reimburse you. Uh, best cook wins. See you then. Okay, then. See you later. Aurel, can I have assumed that I already spread the word about the cook-off? How would you have spread the I word? I was making With posters. The posters he made? Ah, yes. Well, you haven't you haven't put them up. But well, you made I, them. I thought we... Like, I gotta go run... Put, guys, hold the next interviews. I gotta go put posters all over town. Each of them. All four towns. Send the next person in on your way up, please. Hey, you! Go! I gotta go! <laughs> go! Wait, but now I can't see the- hold on. Now I can't. Guys, come on. What the fuck? Okay. In comes the next person. Um, oh, hold on. I want this. There we go. Okay. So he sort of like hunches down to make it to the front door. He's this tall, tall orc. Um, and, uh, he's got, like, long brown hair that gets in his eyes a little bit, so he constantly has to, like, push it away. And he comes in, he go and he comes in, Please sits down he's not naked. Chair. He's not naked, he's, he's got a cloth on him. Does he have a club? Uh, he Vaguely does not have a club. Sized. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Vaguely torn. Um, yeah. hey, what's he sits, your name? He, he, like, he sits down. And like you can hear the chair creak a bit under his like tall orcish weight, 
And then as he sits down, before he, before he can speak, he pulls out a turtle, a small pet turtle, uh, from under his hat and puts puts her on the table. Oh, that's pretty cute. She goes, the name's Zipug. This is Sunny. She means the world to me. That's cute. Um, <laughs> what job are you looking for? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to crack his knuckles. Beat some new recruits into being good employees. So, so you want to be a bodyguard? Or that? You know. Manager, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we can get, we get a bouncer. That'll be sick. Um, have you had any previous management experience? Yes. For a brief time, I was war chief. Okay, goddamn. <laughs> um, why was it so brief? It was not to my liking. Why is that? The war part, mostly. Fair it's enough. It's a bit stressful. You know? The uh, the doctor told me my uh, my heart rate was a bit too high. Could have died young, but I want to live a long, long life. Fair enough. Was Sunny also in this war? Sunny's been with me through everything in life. Are you good with money? Hmm. Well, I don't really have much of a need for it, so I'm good at holding it for others. Hmm. That's, I see. That's Are you good at drinking? Hmm. I can drink when I need to. You know, hmm. high tolerance and whatnot. I see. If sh if the two of us, if the three of us were on a boat, and hypothetically, whoever is we, food, hmm, and which one would that be? I don't know. I'd break off two pieces of the boat, give them to each of you as a weapon, and let you fight it to death. Ooh, I like that, but it also means I probably lose. Um, it's the natural way. If hypothetically two employees were having a dispute, how would you handle it? Hmm. He, he paused the thing for a second. Is one of them correct? They're they're both. Um. They they've both done some things right and some things wrong. Hmm. Is it a personal dispute or over a customer? Uh, it's a personal dispute and it's getting in the way of work I knock their heads together he gestures with his hands as if knocking two heads into one another and tell them to stop being stupid they can deal with it on their own time not when they're on the clock I like that okay time is money if there was a customer who was being extremely rude to one of our other staff how would you deal with it Well, I imagine I'd just walk up to him, and that would resolve things pretty quickly. Fair enough. Damn. Um, please come back tomorrow morning, uh, around 10 o'clock for a secondary interview. Okay, I'll be here. As long as you're not planning on wasting my time, right? Well, what would you consider wasting your time? Well, I've taken some interviews before where... Where what? Where they only wanted me back to make the, the pool look a bit more diverse if you catch my drift. I do catch your drift. However, if you would care to look at my partner, thank you. Hmm. Okay, good. Because I had to kill those people. But you lot seem nice enough. Anyway. And he picks up he picks up the turtle. Say bye, Sunny. And he holds the turtle up to you guys. The turtle just like very very Exists. like you know, it just like very very slowly wags its legs through the air. <laughs> looks around slowly. And then he puts it back under his hat and walks out. Hey guys, I just got back from uh, all the towns that put up all my posters. Oh, nice turtle. You don't see the turtles in the hat. Oh. You don't see the turtle? Nice, not turtle. 
Okay, we still need more uh, manager candidates. Everyone more... knows about the cook-off. I told everyone. Waiters. That's impressive. There are and a lot of people. Some of the lords Every said they were going to come. That's really impressive. That's I a didn't lie. think they would stoop to such low uh, levels for entertainment. Damien wanted to be one of the judges. Um, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, okay, send in the next person. Okay, second. Okay. I think it's an all star cast, dog. So, in walks uh, a female dwarf. Okay. Uh, probably around a bit over three feet. She walks in, well, she has very, very long gray hair and a long gray beard. She sits down at the table, which is out of hand. The name is Kilmo. Can you spell that for me, please? Kimmo? K I L M U L. Oh, it's just the Hebrew letter, okay. Nice to meet you. I'm um, Gimmel. Oh, it's and just Jimmy Kimmel. What exactly? Uh, uh, what job are you looking for? I'm here to wait tables. You said gray hair and beard. Is this like an uh, like a old person? No, she just that's the color. Okay. Like so he's actually he's actually a relatively young dwarf. Um, like below middle age. Scale. Scale. From like how much does she weigh? Probably like a six. A little bit lower than desirable, but okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I, mean, are awful. I, mean, I don't even want to send people in for you guys anymore. Can you give us some more waifus? Our bar needs to be famous for its sex appeal. Yeah, it's so I mean, going to be. Well, look at me. And look at me. You guys are all five on the toilet. We're all just like. <laughs> we're all the ugly old men. <laughs> we're all the ugly old men. Bad hand. Um, Alright, Kilmul, do you have any uh, past experience? Uh, past experience doing what exactly? Being a waitress. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, no. This is our Playboy Bunny house. Okay. Why do you want this job? Oh, I just want to change a pace, you know. Life was getting a bit boring. Figured I could try something new. What did you do before this? Before this? Well, for a while I was a bit of, I was a traveling trader. But, uh, one night I woke up and my caravan was gone. In its entirety, which is a bit of a task considering there were several other people working with me, but... I figured it might be time to settle down. So I came up here, got married, and uh, I haven't looked back since. Of course, I started looking back once I ran out of money, which is why I'm here now. If we were on a boat, mm -hmm. and we were out of food, mm -hmm. which one of us would you eat first? Hmm. She slowly points first at, at, at Peleus and then sort of turns it over to point at Val. Oh, wow. Damn, I wasn't even an option. Well, you get to live, jackass? Shake my head. Why? Hmm. See some big muscles there. A lot of good meat. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> of course, I would try to, you know do other things first, make a salad out of seaweed, fish, eat you know, like edible bark or something else we brought along. I hear a seaweed salad is lovely this time of year. It's but if it, come, if it comes down to it, then definitely you. She points at Val. Um, okay, well... What do you guys think? How would you prepare me? Hmm. Is this... Really, the line of questioning we're pursuing today? Yes. It, it's it. The skills translate. In that case, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm not much of a chef, but take the limbs apart. Okay. Cook those individually. <laughs> then remove the organs from the center. My mouth's remove watering already. Head, and uh, cook the ribs hmm. and chest muscles. 
And then the, uh, the abs, of course, but they'd be really tough, so you'd have to cook them for longer, get them more tender. Hmm. But then again, I don't know that much about cooking. All I learned, I learned from my husband. What do you, what do you guys think? Is she here to be a cook? No, she shouldn't be a waitress. Oh, is she hot? No. Oh. A six. No. Uh, no. Um, we'll let you know. Okay. Oh, well, farewell then. Goodbye. She leaves. Mm, there's a bit of a lull before the next person comes. You guys have a few minutes to discuss anything you want to about what's going on until now. Okay, we still haven't hired any actual waiters. What do you mean? We have like four, right? We have we have two. Oh. Well, we on the first day we can always fill in. Yeah. Where are mics? Where are mics? Yeah, where are mics? Uh, they're currently renovating the dungeon. That's what we're talking about. Mics can't talk. Wait, are we gonna go downstairs and they're gonna have, like fucked yeah, up the sex dungeon? Winners don't need to talk. Winners don't need waiters. to talk. Yeah, they do. They need to like schmooze and stuff. No. Okay, are... they can be the fucking. They're the bus food boys. delivery. They're bus the food boys. delivery. Yeah, bus boys. Okay. Um. We need to hire more waiters, definitely. We have two bartenders, so we can probably like make do for a while, but mm -hmm. probably hire probably at least one more. And we definitely need like more waiters. Um. Two, three waiters is enough. Well, random number generator, waifudoonline.com. What's the next waifu to walk through the door? In walks the most handsome man you've ever seen. Oh, hired. Hired. Well, we'll pay you. Um, what, what do you mean handsome? Yeah. Like he's, he's just he's just a very very beautiful human man. What job do you want? I'm here to be a waiter. You can be hired for generic wage. I'm sorry, that's a bit too little for me. Mm, and why is it too little? Because he's hot. <laughs> well, and he gestures at his body. Wait, I hate it. No, no, no. Good point. Is he um, naked? No, he just has a good body. He's not naked, he's just wearing, he's wearing very tight-fitting cloths. Then What's your I name? tell him to get naked. The name wait, 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 wait. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Hey, hey, we're not trying to get a problem here. Actually, what? I am curious, though. I'm curious. Can you adjust the shirt? You, you what? So, what are you guys asking? They wanted to We wanted to take his shirt off. I want, I want to take his shirt off. Of course. This guy I've asked is many times, you know. He okay. takes his shirt off, and then... Somehow, despite there not being any, like, sunlight or anything, the sunlight glistens off of his abs. Oh my god. We need what, to make him a name? vampire. The name's Walter. Walter Cartwright. And I am a prime human specimen. I hate him. I don't want to hire him anymore. Um, and how much higher than insert generic wage are you expecting? Hmm. Not that much higher. 20, 30%. All right. And do you have any experience in the business? In the business of looking this good? No, in the business well, of waiting. In the business of waiting tables. Well, I can carry a tray just fine, thank you very much. Well, do you have any experience in the business? You won't tell anyone, will you? No. I promise. Looks to see you. He like he he leans in real close and he goes. I work that out. And he like licks his lips. Ew. <laughs> like like he, he's he's like <laughs> a bit of one second. It, it, he's just gonna be like, like a work at a strip club. Putting on chapstick. He's just gonna be a work at a strip club. It's not gonna be that big. A bit of a, a shadier establishment. Oh. But I was waiting. And that's all you really need. Yeah, speak easy. Was it like a secret establishment or like- He, he leans up and sort of decomposes himself, like adjusts himself and he goes, What's the point of talking about it when I could just look this good instead? Okay, okay look, we can offer you generic wage for the first week, and then, assuming nothing goes wrong, we can up it from there. Hmm. I'll think about it. When should I come for the job? Tomorrow at noon. Alright then. Walter, out. And he saunters out of the room. This is my narcissist. Nice. This is my Narcissus. How am I supposed to win this over? Huh? How am I supposed to win over a man who loves himself too much? Just be hot? He's- Exactly. He'll never think anyone's hotter than himself. That's okay. Well, there you go. Okay. 
So in comes. Oh, the the female not equivalent of Walter. No. Fuck. A uh, a female human. Oh. Um, she walks in and she's like chewing something between her teeth, and she as she's walking in, she spits it out. Um, uh. her face. Her face is mostly hidden by uh, various tattoos. Okay. Uh. They go all around her body, and they're, the dragon. they're in various different color inks. Lady with the what dragon kind of tattoo. tattoo. She has she has a few piercings on her face. What kind of tattoos? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it appears to be like a menagerie of animals all around her body. This could be good. Um. Hear me out. What's her name? The name's Wendy. Ask her to work in the sex dungeon. That's as, hot. As a domineer that uh, does dominatrix. Wendy. I'm curious. How good are you at whipping with your things? Tattoos. Huh? How good are Tell you at whipping things? Ignore him. Or ignore her, please. Tell Thank me you. about your tattoos. I want to know about these tattoos. Well, I get a tattoo every time I hunt a new animal. Oh. Ah, I see. What number are you on? I lost count. Okay. Well, just count the. Never mind. Um. <laughs> what job are you looking for? <laughs> Mm. 12. <laughs> All around her body. What do you mean 12? <laughs> you, have you simply taken off her clothes to inspect her entire body? She's killed yes. 12 animals. <laughs> I'm here to, to make drinks. Oh. Okay, I look okay, at Paleos. Do you have Paleos. any experience? Yes. <laughs> how do we how do we seal the deal on this? Well, we gotta see if she knows how to make drinks first. Okay. Yeah, could you describe said experience to me? Well, when one is out on a hunt, one must experiment. Okay. Especially when all one has to drink are the various alcohols they brought from home or found around the place. You see, distilling berry wine is actually not that complicated of a task, especially when you're staking out a uh, longhorn deer. And she pulls up her sleeve and shows you a picture of a very spooked-looking deer staring straight at you. Aren't longhorn deer going extinct? Well, if they are, that'd certainly help them get a bit closer. Um, hmm. You have any uh experience working at? An established business, perhaps one that pays taxes. <laughs> hmm. Not yet. That's kind of what I was looking to do here. Hmm. Well, we can offer you. Insert generic wage. I look at. I look at, I look at my my partners. <laughs> we can offer you insert generic wage. Are you sh wait, dude, 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 wait, wait, dude, come on, dude. What? Insert generic wage. Yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't fall for the bluff. Oh my god! You didn't even let me roll. She, she looks at me. you and kind of goes. Yeah. Very well then. When am I starting? Uh, come back tomorrow at noon. Alrighty then. We're gonna have all our employees working the same day at the well, same time. We have to have like we have to have like an orientation. Are we really okay? Do you want to make like the pamphlets or should I? Well, Who's we're HR? just like we're just gonna like tell them what's going on. We're gonna introduce them to the manager that we that we eventually hire. Slip, do you want to be HR? Sure. All right. So in walks uh, a. Another female dwarf. There's a lot of them this time, apparently. Also, um... Uh... We have to, like, make sure our chef actually, like, gets enough food to start, like, cooking and shit. Well, so I, t I spoke with the women. We're, like, we're not gonna- we're not gonna open tomorrow, but we're gonna, like, discuss our, like, grand opening. Uh, yeah, the day after tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey, dude. Hello. So in, so in walks this uh, female dwarf. She looks... Um, I'm going to fucking say... Because you're going to ask. I'm just going to say it. 7 or 8 out of 10. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, probably dwarf. closer, closer to seven than eight. Fucking dwarf though. Lick slips. It's a dwarf, and she her ears are covered in piercings. Five or six each year. Well, we haven't hired any dwarf servers yet, so. Um. Okay. Um. She's hot, name? Dan. It doesn't matter. Her name's Uchun. Okay. Can you spell that for me? U K H Wendy. Come on, Dan. Uchun Drake. Cool. Okay. What job are you looking for? Uh, well, pretty good at cooking, pretty good at making, so I suppose head chef. Oh my god, you know, we can't have so many chefs. How good of a chef would you describe yourself to be? Mm. On a well, scale of, like, pretty good to, like, wow. Well, I was pretty good. I was taught by the best at Varheim. Oh, you're professionally trained. Yes. Huh. Oh, ho. Now, do you have any managing experience? Because we're really short potential candidates for that position. I suppose I could manage, though I'd probably have to make some comments on the food to, you know, yeah, feel no, okay. We don't want, we don't want toes is. to really be stepped on. Um, so, if you're not that comfortable being manager, you can, uh, we, we can have one more spot in the cook-off. Hold on, hold on now. What? You want me to manage? I can manage. What am I managing? Well, like this. Oh, the whole place? Yes. Yeah, well, of course I can do that. Can you manage it? What, ex what experience do you have um, that makes you so confident that you would be able to manage this place? Well, when I was learning under my mentor at Varheim, I, uh, I was the head of my class, so I... Frequently let us whenever we were cooking. I was the head chef in the exercises. Hold on, I need to speak to the uh, the guy we have working in the back. He's just currently playing with some plates. Do you have any um uh, experience interacting with customers? Well, yes. Part of learning to cook is learning to cook for a customer. You know, deal with their bullshit and whatnot. Ah, I see. Okay, well. Look, I'll tell you. Um, we're gonna put you in for the cook-off. And if you're the best chef, well, then that's that. But if not, we'll have you come back tomorrow morning for a secondary interview to be manager. So, what you need to do, you need to go out, get some ingredients for food. We'll reimburse you. Come back tonight ambiguously between sunset and midnight and cook us something. Sound All right. Good? Sounds good to me. Dude, I can't wait for Lord Damien to be a judge. Look, before we do that, there's something you all should know. Mm -hmm. Of course. She's a vampire. She's a werewolf. Please be a vampire. Vampire dwarf. Dude. I'm not quite sure how to say this. I'll just say it up front. Okay. There's this chair. Oh. Okay. Now, I don't know what I did, but for as long as I can remember, this chair has been following me. Oh. Okay. She has a quirk? I don't know what will happen if it reaches me, but it has been following me for a while. Oh okay, my. well, conveniently we have a dungeon in the basement. So, even if it shows up, as you can see, we're much more of a stool-type establishment. Um, <laughs> but if it shows up, we'll just lock in the dungeon. Sound good? Sounds good. Alright. Well, then I'll see you all at the cook-off. I'll see you at Excellent. the cook-off. Okay, I don't think we should- I don't think we should offer any more cooks. We have- we're, we don't need them- we don't need them all showing up with grade-A uh, ingredients and fucking us over. Well, I really- what I really- She sort of looks around as she's on her way out, and then quickly departs. Uh, I feel like we should have given them, like, an ingredient to work off of. Oh, like, chopped. Yeah. Should we go, like, out and buy an ingredient? Like, that'll be, like, the secret ingredient. Oh, and they have to work it in? Oh, yeah. that's a good plan. Alright, do you want me to run down and grab- what do you want the secret ingredient to be? I think it should be asparagus. Something weird. Well, asparagus. I, that's out of season. It should be something weird. It should be like, should apple. Be like apple. I can run up to the farms and grab uh -huh. some more of those rock animals. I want apple. I think it should be like pine bark or something like that. Like something crazy. Do you think pine bark? Well, I was gonna go get some more of those like amulet rocks. Well, those don't taste good. 
How uh, about, it didn't taste that bad, actually. Going down about, was pretty good. How about... How about... Um... Uh... Glass. <clears throat> no. Definitely not. No. Uh-uh. I'm not eating glass. Let's let's finish the interviews for today. Go kill the orc and use orc meat. That's a good plan. Do you think we'll I be able to we accomplish it? Well, but like, what if we what if we don't get back in time? That's yeah, that's the worry. We have to hook past then. Um, no, okay. we're not you know what? We'll so figure out. We'll that's figure that's out the secret ingredient cool. later. We'll figure out the secret. Well, we need to later. figure apple. I'm like, telling you, apple. What time of the day is it? it? I feel like it's probably still morning or like early afternoon. I mean, you guys have been through a lot of interviews and they're pretty spaced out. It's it's like early to mid afternoon. Okay. Let's so, do apples. Apples? apples. So apples. do you want to grab us some apples? I I'm gonna go do it right now. All right. All how right. many? Wait. How many I'll, apples I'll should get, we get? How many apples should we get? I'm just getting a fuck ton. Well, that's not um, math. How many cooks have? Okay, we've got I'm one. Say, two. I think we have four people coming in for cooks. So at least four apples, but like probably like <laughs> eight or twelve. You really think I'm only getting? Well, I, I, I was thinking of like maybe three apples per person. I'm willing to spend that, you know? Yeah, right. okay. Solid. Three apples per person, sure. So I'm, uh, I'm <clears> going <throat> to case get, like... Should we make them apples, prepare a, a first course, second okay. course, and dessert using apples? Well, you know what? We'll just see what they bring. I feel like um, we should get the most out of it. Well, we didn't tell them to bring a first course, second course, and dessert. We just told them to bring food. Well, we want to know hope, that they can cook. I hope our client doesn't serve us I, I'm, I'm going to get 20 apples. I'm going to send the I really hope... In. Okay, thank you. I really hope Dracula Boy ends up being our man, you know? So do I. Do you want to, like, like really just pretend true. that his food is good? <laughs> kind of. But, like, what if it's real bad? What if the, what if it's, like, drizzled with blood or something? You hear, like, a gentle knock at the door? Come One in. Side. Okay. Come in. <laughs> it's Schlip. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? No. no. Schlip, we um, didn't know you had brothers. <laughs> in walks a slender dwarf. Uh, sorry, not dwarf. Elf. Can't read. Oh, Female ooh. elf. Female She's elf. tired. She's tall. She steps in, She's carefully tall. sits She's down, female. and graciously... And she graciously, like, crosses one leg over the other. She has, uh, like, very, very soft facial expression. Okay. And And long, soft brown hair. Oh. Pretty much, she, she just she do be looking soft. Alias, I uh, got as this. she as she places her hands on the table, you notice that uh, her ring finger on her left hand is missing. Uh, and like and she's just very gone? like, yeah. Well, at least there's not a ring on it. And uh, and like her uh, what's it called? Like she is wearing like clothes that cover a lot. Alias, okay. I got this. You horny dog. Um, excuse me, miss. What's your name? The name is A Yin. Can you spell that for me? E Y I apostrophe I N A N. Thank you. All right, A Yin. Um, what position were you looking for? I'm here to manage. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have any experience managing or? Yes, but I am. How shall we say? A tad on the cursed side. Oh? I'm sorry? You're cursed? My memory is. I do have experience managing that much I know, but as for when or where it was, I can't tell you. Do you feel confident in your abilities to manage a group of people? Beyond confident. Although, again, can't tell you why. You're unconfident or you are confident? Beyond okay. confident, you said. Beyond confident. Okay, well, that's, a, that's a nice word, beyond. If there were a confrontation between two of our staff members, how would you handle that? Mm. Could you describe the situation in more detail, please? Okay, let's say we have staff member A. Mm -hmm. Found out that and... staff member C was sleeping with his wife. Well, that's exactly the scenario I was going to pose. So yeah, so <laughs> staff member B is sleeping with staff member A's wife, and now they're letting it get in the way of work and they're making a scene in front of the customers. Because before it was fun, but after like the fifth or sixth or seventh time, you're kind of like, what the fuck, Barbara? I thought we were a thing. Yes. Are you done? Yeah. Take them to the back room. Tell them that if they can't work together, then neither of them will be able to work at all. 
and then return them and speak to B at the end of the evening to make sure they understand that mucking around with another employee's personal life is not something that we do around here at the Howling Owl. That's a that's pretty reasonable. Great, thank you. Um, and if there were a customer that was being particularly rude to one of our staff members, how would you handle that? Hmm. I request kindly that the customer pay for whatever they've ordered and leave. All right. I could see a universe in where that works and a universe in where that doesn't. What if they persist? If they persist, then they will be made to leave by either my hands or the hands of one of the stronger staff members. All right. Uh, is there any guarantee you can give us on an effective method on getting payment from someone like that? Well, I'm sure much like any town, there are consequences for not paying. Word about stuff like that gets around. Though, I wouldn't happen to have any, any idea how word like that gets around and she winks at you. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, um, so, we'd like you to come back tomorrow morning, around 10 o'clock-ish, for a secondary interview. Very well, then. Uh, something, something, uh, yeah, expected pay. Something, something. It looks, you look, it looks, you guys look outside, there's only a few people left. Um. Right. Schlip, oh my god, buddy, how's it going? You got the apples? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, hold on, let me give Man, you Man, I really, I really hope the rest of the people out in that line are attractive women hoping to serve food to our customers and uh, happen to have industry experience. So I got 30, 30 apples. Only 30? Uh, uh, 15 red, 15 green, nice. as you can see. And four colors, I like it. And all of them really them delicious. On the, on the desk here, that's, you know, just for now. Lovely. Uh, I kind of ate some. Well, I took the Wait, so how many are left? Four. Wait. Uh, <laughs> well, I, 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 meant, I meant like, you know, during. So you're shopping. so you're left with three. I, I was. No, I have thirty. Thirty. Oh, you're left with thirty. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, hello. 30, but you know, I I, I ate a, a, a bit and then stole them. Oh so income. Wait. Wait. Income. Wait, wait, wait. You stole the apples? Don't worry about it. Anyways, yeah. Who Wait, no, damn, damn. Where'd you steal the apples from? <laughs> did you uh, also? Yeah, we got, he didn't if steal you the apples. Stole, if you stole the apples, we gotta roll for this shit. And if you didn't, you gotta pay for them. I you gotta pay them. for you, those. You paid Nicky. for the apples, a right schlip? Wink, paid, wink. You paid yeah, for the apples? I, 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 uh, what kind of roll of stealth? Oh, oh my hand. god! Slide hand? Yeah. To join them out from wherever you yoinked them. Presumably yeah. the farms, right? The farms or did you go down to the food store <laughs> near you guys where you need to get food supplies constantly and steal from them? <laughs> Don't, please tell me no. Uh, please tell I me seem no. to recall Schlip paying I'm, for Can I roll for you to pick? Can I roll for you customer. to pick? Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> well. <laughs> can, can you what? Sorry? Can I roll for you to pick? Schlip, why have you done this for a Wait, What do you mean business? roll for me to pick? We're on the same which team. One's, which one's worse and more interesting? Worse is if you stole from the people who are right here, who you guys need need a connection with to, make, to buy food. You yes. freaking turtle! Which one? Uh, okay, want? roll... Roll a wisdom to see if you were smart enough to steal from people who are further away. <laughs> You're so dumb. Straight wisdom? No, yeah, no straight wisdom. <laughs> okay, so you stole... You stole from the local eatery. So let me slide a hand. Okay, well. But he did it well. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't notice. They didn't notice, right? So Luckily, you weren't caught this time. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and that's on keeping a professional appearance with our peers. Let's go. Our, uh, hello, Holy sir. Fucking thank God. Guys, <laughs> someone's here. We have a new person in here. Hello? So, in, in has come a dwarf. He's He looks like relatively old. And he's got like these glasses on. He always he's carrying on a book of some kind, and the book has these like scrawlings in uh, some sort of ancient text in them you can read. Uh, he's got like this very very thick mustache that curls out like it's got like a pretty big wingspan to be honest with you. It's probably like a foot long wingspan. Okay. Um, 
But it, but his beard overall isn't that long for a dwarf. Um, and he sits down in the chair. Uh, what's your name? What was your name? Mm. Could you spell right. that for me? Mm. Whenever he opens his mouth, his mouth that's the only noise that comes out. Um, great. What? Uh, we ask him all the generic questions, and then after we're done, we're gonna be like, okay, we'll let you know. Mm. <laughs> mm. I mean, Mike's better than this. Um, also, for the record, um, I don't actually want to do secondary interviews for the manager. Can we just hire Ian? Who's Ian? <laughs> I don't know. The, 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 girl, the girl we just interviewed. We need two I, managers. Two managers. Why do we need two? We only need one. Shifts. The tavern system says we only need one. Yes. But you're going to... What about See, Bobby? Bobby's going to come back and kill us. Who's Bobby? The orc. Well, Who the fuck is Bobby? No, like we're gonna do the interview. Sunny. I just don't want to. I just don't want to role play them out. Just, isn't that the turtle? No, but like he's gonna kill us. I'll just pick up the turtle with Mage Hand and like drag it out the door, and he'll follow. He's All more. Right. He's stupid. Okay. All oh, right. fucking Z Pug, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. How Bobby is his name? Pug. Sunny or Bobby? <laughs> What's his turtle's name? Sunny. Sunny. Oh. Well, there you go. That's what I thought. He's not just gonna kill us for rejecting him. He said that. He said no. He said he specifically kills people for rejecting him. No, he said he kills people for bringing him into diversity hire. We can handle him. Don't worry, he's fine. Oh my god, we it's don't have old. a diversity he's just, hire. He's just one orc. We kill his. We kill his turtle. That's it. Like he just we died. No, we're not gonna kill his turtle. We're, we're keeping gonna... his turtle. Well, if he attacks us, I'm you know. So who's the next person we're interviewing? I'm In comes a six foot though. tall, beefy man, hunk of a man, okay. and he walks in. Uh, he's he's bald. He's got some. He's got a single like a monocle on. Is he wearing all white? He's the monocle. The monocle has the monocle has no lens in it. <laughs> oh. He sits down and he goes, "Hello." Hey. Hey, what's your name? Brom. What? Follow for me, please. What'd you say? B. R O M Brom. I can't help Thank but you. notice you've been carrying like a door around this entire time. Uh, anything you want to say about that? What are you talking about, Sean? It was a Brom League of Legends. Uh, what position do you look for? I'm here to be a waiter. Okay. Do you have any experience? Waiting tables? Yes. Was that was that an answer or a question? I have better experience. <laughs> Doing but what? first, I have to check. You're not lawman, are you? No. <laughs> you have to legally tell me if you're a cop. You do have to tell me. I mean, it's not how that—that's not how that works. But you know, <laughs> we are. Mm. Okay then. In that case, I'm a thief by trade. Oh. And how can we be assured you won't steal from us? Hmm. a good question actually i hadn't thought of that do you want to come back when you have an answer no i'm i'm good to continue the interview okay okay so do you have any experience yeah, well i've experienced stealing things and wait being a waiter and stealing things are pretty much the same thing you have playing? you ever like interacted with like customers yes well i've interacted with people who have been trying to you know con out of their money well have you interacted with people like i don't know maybe like trying to hire your services to like go steal stuff for them we're really yeah. looking for someone with good customer service skills i interact positively with everyone i encounter and by the time that i'm gone they don't even realize that i was the one who took their money well, that's great okay so yeah how can we be assured that you won't steal from us mm. <laughs> i don't know you guys have any magic or anything that could help with that i don't know do we looks at val looks at schlip the two people who could learn zone of truth Look, I'll be honest with you, stealing is getting a bit tiring. I'd rather just live an honest life, and I know that that's kind of hard to do, considering my past. But I'm being honest with you for a reason here. We can the reason is that I want to gain your trust. Generic wage. Mm. How does that sound? What if I showed you something that would make you want me to pay me more than generic wage? I, then I would like to see such a thing. Okay, close your eyes. 
He's gonna steal us. What do you mean? I'm not gonna that? steal. Her. He pauses. He pauses. <laughs> he pauses. He pauses. He pauses. He pauses. He pauses. He pauses. <laughs> Considers what he's just said. Wait, hold on. I'm you wanna bind my hands or something and then close your eyes? No, you can pickpocket. I'm sure you know how to get out of handcuffs or like knots. Like, this is. I'm not no, gonna. Okay. There's no hold universe on. where this works out. Just. Just one second, he like ducks under the table and he's like, he's really tall, right? So he, like, I go under the like, table, I'm like, yeah, what are you I'm looking like, for? I'm gonna like stand back to make sure he can't reach my coin. <laughs> what oh, are you doing? Hold, hold on, let me just. Okay, one second, he steps outside of the tavern. Okay. God, what was that guy's deal? And then, uh, like, a minute or so passes and in walks um, this five foot six uh, elven woman. And she goes, Did you guys see that? Guy ran out of there with that money? You're him. Huh? Please tell me you're him. You're him, right? Please. My name's Amira. I'm here for the job. Cap. You're also just hired. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what job were you looking for? Sorry. I'm a waitress. I... You're Do you have experience? Yes. Is generic wage good for you? Snake wage works for me. Are you guys gonna? Do you not want to know where the guy went with the money? No. Okay. Can I check? Can I check my pockets? You can check your pockets. Have I been robbed? No, you've not been robbed. What's What's your name? Amira. What's the other dude's name? Okay, you're hired. What's the other name, Sean? Is that what you asked? Yeah. Amira replies, "His name is Brom." See, that's what yeah, I fucking I thought. <laughs> Brom, you're hired. Thanks. What? No, no. It's, it's, if anything, it's that's proven. That's a terrible skill. Though. Why do we no. need that? The fuck, no. Because he can cosplay as a hot girl. Hot women get tips. See, wait, when do, he he walks out and walks back in. Wait, when do I? Uh, oh, tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. Can I ask? Was that shape shifting or was that like probably just dead ass cosplay? Was Wouldn't that, you like to know? I want to know. It does Wouldn't you like to know, weather if it was boy? Just dress up. If it was just dress up, then it's just. Oh no! It was. It was. You guys. You guys were. It was a convincing, like, female look. Drag queens are getting better and better. It was Dan. He was. He was a different height. And had a different body I don't build. Know. Drag queens I don't are getting know. better and better. Okay. Are there any any more interviews? Ah, uh, yeah. There's two more outside. All right. Okay. Let's do them. Let's speed run these two. Okay. Right. Name. Wait, what? Race and gender for identifying purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, race and gender is female human. Name. Alianor. Spell that. A L I A N O R. You're hired. See you tomorrow. What job? Wait, what? <laughs> Head chef. Oh, you're um, hired. Sorry, we're not looking. Hmm? Um, we're no longer looking for any chefs. Thank you very much. Okay. Just watch that be like the best chef in all existence. Yeah, we and just we passed just up the on. one good one. <laughs> uh, in, hold on one second. Sorry, I have the wrong token for this. In walks Mike. Oh. Excuse me, Mike? Hi, Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Did you need Thank something? You, Mike. He, he sits down at the table, reaches out a hand to shake. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mike. I slide over thank, the table. Thank, thank you, so Mike. I slide over the table to shake his hand and I just wiggle back to my spot. And then you see him, he like, he like keeps the focus really, really hard. No. Hi. I'm. Waiter. No! If he gains consciousness, <laughs> we have to start paying him. Unfortunately, no. Mike, you're still oh. dungeon trash. Hi. I'm Mike. We do we love you though, Mike. You Mike, you still have a, you has always have a home here though, Mike. Maybe you can work up to it one day. Yeah, when you can speak in full syllables. Hi. When he leaves. Into the dungeon he goes. Okay. Is that it? Well, now That's we're gonna, it. It's food well, wars now. Fuck. We're sort of low on waiters, but oh well. Yeah. Um, Wait, didn't we like accept like almost how every many single waiter? Do we have. We have four. That's um, enough. Four is more than enough. Okay, fair enough. Um, some of us have some restaurant experience here. Paleo. Um. Okay. Uh, food wars time. I'm okay. gonna say straight up, it's gonna be a fucking nightmare for me to remember what all these characters sound like. Oh yeah. Well, you have to make got, you've got names. you've got three under bartender, one under head chef, two under manager, four under waiter, uh, and four in the cook off. As all far right. As I can tell. Everyone, where's the judges' table? This Bring, table is the bring in table. the chefs. 
Uh, what what did what did key interview for again? Sorry. Uh, waiter. Okay, good. Just making sure. Key and power both waiters, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes. I'll bring in the chefs. Bring in the chefs. You yell out to the mid-afternoon sun. Is it time? Um, let's wait until the chefs come. I'm okay. gonna keep saying bring uh, out the chefs. We're gonna take we're gonna take a quick break. Ever go to the bathroom if you need to. I need to go to the bathroom as a human does. I'll be back for the cook-off. I'm gonna grab water.